guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Angie from Angie's Lily Crafts here on YouTube and on Instagram. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you. <laughs> um, I, uh, I think my last regular video was in December and then I did do a whip parade, which I will tell you right now that a lot of the projects that I have today are not, are not a lot of the projects from the whip parade are not here today. I don't have a huge variety. I say that, but then like I worked on probably like 14 projects in a month, which is a lot for some people, but I um I still there's like certain projects that I focused on more. Some to do with like the 5% by 20 2025, but that's kind of well, we'll get into that and yeah, you'll, you'll understand. But anyways, this is already just kind of like thrown in here. Welcome. <laughs> um, I just want to, sorry, there's a window there. I always get distracted. Um, I just wanted to start out by saying thank you to everybody who left, um, comments and reached out to me after my last, um, regular video in December. Um, I'm not going to share a lot of details about um, my niece, but I, I did mention in that video that she, my 12 year old niece was diagnosed with cancer and a lot of you um, reached out to me about that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into a lot of details because that's their story to tell and stuff, but I will say that she started treatment and if you are somebody who prays, then they could really use your prayers. Um, I know. I would appreciate it and family would appreciate it so um yeah i think that's all i'm gonna say about that i i apologize for that last video i was thinking of cutting that part out but at the same time i know my mood changed a lot from the beginning of the video and the end of the video and if i just cut it out with no explanation i thought that that might be awkward as well so you just got the real <laughs> real life there and I apologize if that um I know a lot of people watch floss tube to escape and to just you know enjoy so if that kind of brought you down at all I really do apologize um but yeah that's just that's all I really gotta say about that um uh this is going to be my January and February update Although I have my totals for January, but apparently I feel like I'm going to get a whole bunch of stitching today. So I didn't want to do full tallies for February. I, I'm not going to get much stitching done today, but that's okay. So if you're somebody who likes wrap-ups, well, actually, you know what? Yeah. Okay. So for January, I had my best stitching month ever. I, I don't even know how it happened. Well, actually I do. I read a lot less because I really like to read. And maybe at the end of this video, like my books that I'm reading are right here. So maybe I will show those. But anyways, um, I barely read anything in, in January. So that's where a lot of my, my, like why I had such high count. So for my total for January was 10,286, which is really good for me. Um, I stitched 30 out of 31 days, which averages about 342 stitches a day, which I, I don't know. I had one new start. <laughs> if you guys have been here before, you will not be surprised about that. I don't know if I mentioned in my whip parade, but last year I had 19 new starts. So, and I think I only had four finishes, which I said I was going to bring my finishes, but those still are not framed. Um, because I don't have an iron. I've mentioned that before too. I just keep forgetting to pick one up. I really should just pick up like a small little one, <laughs> especially for just like my cross stitch. But, um, so I couldn't frame them because they were wrinkled, but I will show you, um, for anybody who's been watching my videos are probably wondering what my finished Mario looks like. I couldn't show it last time because during the whip parade, because my kid was still here, which I still haven't shown it to them. Like, <sighs> I don't know. It's one of those things where I, it's, I was working on that for so long. I think I started it in like 2018 and I, um, I don't know like what their response is going to be. Like, I, I'm scared that they're just going to be like, oh yeah. And it's just going to break my heart because I've, 
<laughs> I've worked on that for so long and it took a lot of time and I don't know. So I think I'm just, it's stupid, but I think I'm just worried about their reaction. So I have to like mentally prepare myself that that's going to be their reaction so that I don't, I don't get upset about it. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, I worked on a total of 22 projects in January, so I don't know what I was talking about when I said that I didn't have much variety. Anyways, <laughs> those are my January stats. Um, I did do more shopping than I normally do, um, which, okay, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but in March, uh, me and Leanne, and we've got, like, I mean, I think Allie is, is going to be in, uh, joining in on this too, but me and Leanne, our birthdays are in March. So we decided that we were just going to do like this March shenanigans where we were just going to start all the things. Cause I'm one of those people that if I have the fabric and I have the charts, I just want to start, I just, I just want to start them. I don't want them to just sit. I don't have a huge stash. Well, I didn't, I didn't have a huge stash. I was going to start everything pretty much, well, almost everything that I owned. But in the last couple of months, I have acquired new things. So even once I start, I think seven things in March, I still have nine charts and most of those are full coverage that I haven't started. So I'm going to have to have like another month of shenanigans to start all those. But yeah. You know. Chad laughed at me at this idea of starting everything and then not buying anything and just, you know, working on what I have. He laughed and laughed and he was right because now I have more charts that I have bought. But that's okay. That's that's what we all pretty much do. So, um, all right. Okay. I am go. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. Uh. First off, in December, I was gifted this adorable little ornament from um, Stephanie from On Point Stitcher. Um, <laughs> she had mentioned it in one of her floss tubes that she was sending this to somebody, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then it was like after Christmas, and she sent me a message, and she was like, um, did you happen to get something from me? She's like, I kind of think it might be lost in the mail. And then that night I was like, oh, I haven't checked my mailbox yet today. And I went and I ran down the street. It was cold too. That was probably one of those cold nights. We've had some cold weather here again. Actually, I think in January was when we had like our minus 50 weather. But anyways, I'm not talking about weather. It's all over the place. But it did get cold. Anyways, it was a cold night, but I ran out there, went and ran down to the mailbox and came back and the package was there. So it was, it was interesting timing because if I would have just got the mail earlier that day, she wouldn't have had to message me and been worried that it was lost. Anyways, here is what she sent me. It is so cute. And I, these are like, these stitches are like perfection. I don't know if my camera's not like or my phone is not like really that great. So I don't know if it's really going to focus on there, but like, I don't know. Anyways, and she's got this cute little backing on it. Anyways, I know Christmas is over, but to me, this is winter. So it is going to stay. It, um, it stays on my piano. I have it over there on my piano. So thank you, Stephanie. I love it. I haven't named the, I don't know if I should name the little guy, but it's very cute. Um, and what else was I going to say? Um, no, I'm going to talk about that later. I actually, I am all over the place today. So if you guys are wanting something that is structured, you have come to the wrong place. But I did want to show you, I actually have a finished. I have a start and a finished. When did I do this? I think this was like, oh, I think this is in February, actually. I'm just skipping ahead because I started and finished this little, oh, yeah, it was definitely February because this was Valentine's. Um, this was one of Shannon Christine's, 
uh, freebies. Uh, I know everybody talks about them being on Facebook, but she put them on Instagram too. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Like, it's kind of like a little ornament. I thought, honestly, <laughs> honestly, what I thought of doing is just cutting it out into a square and putting a magnet and putting it on my fridge. <laughs> because I just think it's so cute. It took me two days. Um because I'm not very fast. I know some people probably could get these done in like a couple hours or something. I don't know. But I think it's still like 700 or 800 stitches. So I was pretty happy with that. So that's actually, I didn't count this on my February final wrap up, but I'm not giving you my February final wrap up. So it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, so I a start and a finish. You will not hear that very often. This fabric, I don't know if anybody remembers when I did the um, Dragonite for <laughs> my Dragonite for uh, Jacob. It was like two years ago. I don't know. Anyways, it's a 18 count even weave. So there's that. And since we're showing finishes, we are showing finishes. I am showing finishes. I will show. Oh, I didn't open the bag for this one. I will show you my Mario. Ta -da! I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. Um, here you go. As you can see, it's very wrinkled. It needs to be ironed, but I do have a frame and everything. It's just a simple black frame. Um, I got this pattern off of Etsy. Cho Cho Coco. Mm, nope. <laughs> if you if you type in Mario, I'm sure it comes up. There's a few different people working from this, um, not this particular one. Well, um, there is some people working on this particular one, but from that shop, they have a bunch of Mario stuff. So there you go. That was on, I think this is 14 count. It was just a piece that I got from uh, Michael's back in the day. I think. 2018, I think, is when I said I started it. So, yeah, that's that's that. Okay, I am just going to... St I have a huge stack here. Oh, actually, there is one thing I'm going to mention. Um, my mom... Well, my mom comes and visits all the time, but when she was here the last time, um, I had... Um, she was, she's look. she wants to start a full coverage and I think she's actually going to end up starting a Kincaid from Heaven and Earth Designs and she will not use Pattern Keeper. She's like, nope, I've always done it with paper and marker or paper and highlighters. So that's how I'm going to continue. I'm like, okay, like Pattern Keeper would be so much easier or, um, she doesn't have an Android, but you know, markup or something, but whatever she's, she can do it her own way. That's fine. But I was thinking of giving her, um, I think I mentioned in my last video that there was a UFO, an unfinished project that I had started for her. It was originally supposed to be for like her 65th birthday. And then I kind of scrapped that because I'm a slow stitcher and did not realize how long it was going to take. And then, and instead I made, if you watched my videos last year, I made the, um, singing sparrow for her and my dad. So, Anyways, I had put this project aside because I don't know why, maybe because it's paper, probably because it's paper. And so I asked her, do you want this project? And funny enough, I thought that she knew about the project. I didn't think that I had kept it a secret, but apparently I had because she had no idea about it. I'm just going to show it to you. Um, so this was the project and um, so she was looking at it and she was like, well, I could take it over and maybe I could work on it like where did I put it I had already taken it out it's just sitting on my lap and I'm so when she was here she tried it and she was trying to figure it out and stuff so what she decided was that she wanted to keep this here and um, I'm sorry um, she wanted to keep it here and when she comes to visit 
she said she'll work on it and we'll work on it together she's like you work on it you know whenever you want and when i'm at your house i can put a few stitches in too because she thought that would be fun to have both worked on it so i will be bringing this one back out and this is how much is done which um 2015 i think is when i started this no i wanted this i think done for her 60th birthday and then i was like well maybe her 65th um anyways so she put in a few stitches over here but she's she's not used to working on i think this is 16 count she's used to 14 count but she does have a um, magnifier so because i was like i mean you can do your heaven and earth design on 14 count but it's going to be rather large so i think she's gonna at least try a 16 count which she was talking when she was talking to me yesterday she said that uh she's very close to picking out which one she wants because i mean the thomas kincaid never goes on sale um so she can doesn't have to wait for a sale she can just get it whenever but she's very excited about starting um her and i both did the um uh, his name is jesus i don't know if anybody remembers that one from joyful expressions we both started that at the same time she finished before me but i got it i framed it before her so you know but she does have it finally framed enough okay um i'm sorry this was like 15 minutes of just like ramble this is what happens when it did when i go like uh two months without updating but i'm not gonna promise that i'm gonna come back every month so i'm just i'm kind of a sporadic floss tuber and i apologize but i'm thankful for for you guys that that stay around for the um spontaneity got nothing <laughs> all right let's get started so oh in no particular order although it's the order in my book so i guess it is a particular order that i go through every time anyways this is the nativity by donna gelsinger charted by heaven and earth designs this is what uh, which one do i do this is what it'll look like when it's done and this is what it looked like the last time you saw it and since you last saw it i have put 520 stitches into it and this is what it looks like now sorry if the this is really awkward i am my camera is at a different angle <laughs> it's kind of messing with me but let's just zoom in on what i actually worked on so i am going in uh 10 by 20 across kind of also kind of doing um cross country like throughout them but anyways i'm going page by page so i finished where am i i finished this side this is the end of the page heaven and earth designs are so big they're pages anyway so i'll be going back over here and um actually i think i might just do three 10 by 30 and then i would finish off because this is this is the bottom of the page so i think i might just do this whole thing across so that i can finish that page hopefully by the end of the year i will have this page done and let's see if i can get organized enough to tell you what percentage this is at oh things are flying people things are flying Ten point five nine percent. Um, there's lots of people working on this. <laughs> Rainy from Rainy Day Reads and Leanne from Leanne um, from Small Town Stitches. <laughs> from Small Town Stitches, they are both doing the mini, and um, I was laughing because they're already at, they started way after me and they're already at like three percent, five percent. I don't know. They're they're gonna catch up, no problem. And then Alicia is doing <laughs> Adventures of Stitching. She's doing the, um, we, I always forget what it's called. It's the same, like, 
people, like well, obviously it's the same people, it's the nativity, but it's the same artist and, but it's just a different scene. Like the wise men haven't got there yet. Let us adore him. I should really write that down. Anyways. And then Tara from One Stitch at a Time is doing the full size version of this one. She worked on it just recently. Baby in a manger cell, if you are working on this project, is what we are using as the hashtag. Probably what works for like any nativity, really. It probably doesn't have to be that exact one. The more the merrier. I don't know why I just said that. I don't think that's something that I normally say. I feel like FlossTube brings out all these sayings in me that I don't really use on a regular basis. I don't know. It's like a whole new, whole new language that you guys get to hear from me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All right. Next. Ooh. My coffee sloth. So. Uh, this is Mini Coffee Sloth by Sheena Pike, chartered by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. Now this one is getting lots of, prog well, lots of progress from me because I want this finished this year. So, um, I've combined these, by the way. I don't know if I said that. So I'm doing January and February. So in the two months, I have put in 2,109 stitches. This is what she looks like now. Lucas named her Bella. I think I've said that before. Um, I don't know. I don't know where she last was when you, like, I mean, I know, I know. Actually, I know this is all new, and I know I've definitely filled in here. And just yesterday, I was filling in up here, so. I don't know. Maybe even, maybe even some of that green is new since you've last seen. But, that's her. Um, sadly, she is retired again. Again, because Sheen the Pike is not with Heaven and Earth Designs anymore. So we won't get into that. But you can't get her anymore. I'm sorry. But it's not my fault. So that's that one. Oh. She she's at 58.01%. Hey, I didn't stop at 57.99, so that's pretty good for me. Okay. Next up is my Kincaid, Thomas Kincaid the Cross. Here's what it's going to look like when it's done. I only put in 128 stitches. It's, it's not much. It's not much at all. Oh, this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see a difference, but this is what it looks like now. And I use this for, um, oh, well, first I'll just show you. Uh, it, it probably was something in here that's new. Oh, these colors, so many blends, but it looks really good. Um, this one I use for oldest whip Wednesdays, but apparently I only worked on it like one Wednesday and technically it's my second oldest. And I also, what's the other, I have these written down. The Kincaid Brigade is our, uh, is the Thomas Kincaid, um, hashtag that we use. Um. Me and Alicia and Carla from Stitch Me Sane are the people that I know that use that. I don't know if there's any more. Like, I mean, you guys know hashtags do not work very well on Instagram anymore, but still use them. Okay. Oh, here's my. Okay. Sorry, this one's in like a grocery bag, so it's a little louder. 
This is my oldest whip. This is mm, monkey, monkeys. We're just going to call it monkeys, but no, it's not monkeys. It's apes. Chimpanzees. We're going to just call this my chimpanzee piece. Um, this is what it looked like when it's done. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And I've added 149 stitches. This is where we are at. I think it was probably just in there more. Oh, I might have done some more background. Um, but that's what, that's where we're at. This one, I started in 20. No, 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 no. This one I started in 2009 because... I started it when I was pregnant with my oldest. It was supposed to be in his nursery. My oldest just turned 13 in uh, the end of January. Yes, I have a teenager now. No, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I, I was not okay. I was not okay, but it's come and gone. That was, that was a month ago. I'm over it now. Um, okay. Next up is... Is Nomi's. This... Yeah, good. This is, um, by Kaylee from thesewingshop.ca. Um... This is supposed to be my snow day project. We, for January, we didn't have a lot of snow. And then February, we've had a lot more snow, but I I haven't been keeping up on this. Like, I, I, I only put 368 stitches into it. This is what it looked like when it's done. I don't know if I said that already. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here it is now. I think, I think this is where I worked. I don't know where else. Um, yeah, it, it should have a whole lot more if I was actually working it on it for snow days. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, there was like certain ones that I was concentrating on, so you'll see some big progress, like 500 to 1,000 stitches on some pieces but I show everything it doesn't matter if it's if I only have 50 stitches on something I'll still show it I just might have to show you where the difference is um okay oh well I was working on this yesterday this is my Gilmer Girls piece um I this is what it's gonna look like when it's done I've only added 194 stitches, so not a lot. Um, does this look like the last time you saw it? I don't feel like taking it out of my hoop. Are you guys going to be upset with me? Uh, this is what it looks like now. So I can tell you, oh, first, before that, let's let's just admire my new uh needle minder i got that for christmas from alicia from adventures of stitching it is from there was a little bit of problems my one got lost in the mail but person has excellent excellent um customer service uh, she sent me a new one it was great it came right away. I still need to write a review on her page. Um, anyways, this is new. And this is new. This I just did last night. Alicia, you were wondering what I got done last night? This red. <laughs> that's, that's what I did in that 45 minutes that I had before the hockey game. Um, and that, I just didn't, I just need to do the uh, back stitching. And I, I didn't want to. So I moved over to here. That's just how it is. This is on 14 count. It is from Stitch Area on Etsy. Um, 
I don't know if you can still get it, sorry. And that's all I have to say. Oh, uh, hashtag. I need coffee in an IV MRA SAL, which uh, we started that because we were, we were watching the show while stitching. It was kind of like a marathon of the show and, whoa, I need to cut that, um, marathon of the show and a sal together. And I did start watching the show again. I'm on season five. I think, oh, I, I started over because I had made it to season five and then I started over on season five because I liked season five and I, I, I wanted to start over. I mean, I, well, I liked, I didn't like the beginning of season five. I don't like, I don't like Dean. just don't like him. Okay. Um, right. And if you watch the show, I mean, you probably understand, but Anyways, if you don't watch the show, then that's not really interesting to you, but that's okay. We all have different interests, right? Okay. Next up is my Daydream Sea Turtles. No, oh, ah, okay. Daydream Sea Turtles by Sheena Pike. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. This is, uh, oh, this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I have only added 251 stitches in two months. That is not, that is not acceptable for this piece. This is one of my favorite pieces and I have not worked on it at all in February. Here we go. Um, this is from Charting Creations. So this chart by Sheena Pike is still available, I believe. And I think Charting Creations might be getting some of uh, Sheena's stuff, I just, I mean, they, they never, they never retired her, but, um, I don't know if they'll be getting any of the stuff she had on Heaven and Earth Designs, but you can get this chart. Um, 18 count fabric. I don't know what else I have to tell you. Oh, I have not been telling any of my percentages. This one is at, oh, 7%, exactly. Oi, with the poodles, you guys. Okay, um, 7%, that's what we're at with this one. I really need to get this one back out. Actually, Lucas picked this as my project the other night, but I had a goal on a different project and then I was gonna work on this and, <laughs> I never got that goal, or I did, and then I was like done stitching, so it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. And what else have we got? Okay. I have so many projects crammed into one bag that it's confusing me. I apologize. I apologize, but at the same time, this is what my videos are always like, so. Yeah. Okay, this is Bonded by the Rain. Um, Leonid Afrimov. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, I had something to say about this project. Oh, um, Carla from Stitch Me Sane. And, oh. Um, or, oh. Bohemian Stitcher? I'll, I'll link it below. Anyways, they started a paid in a decade sal. So this is my paid in a decade. It's my small, like one of my smallest hades. So, you know, honestly, it should not take me that long to finish it. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And I added sorry, 396 stitches. That is not going to get me this done in a decade, but, oh, goodness gracious. Okay. You probably want to see the whole thing. There we go. Oh, this one's so pretty. I think 
I have to do 800 stitches a month, actually, to get this done in a decade, which is really quite sad because that's not happened. I haven't worked on it at all in February. And this project is um, color expansion. So it is really slow. This is also my rainy day project, but we have not had any rain since it's uh, winter. I mean, I guess you can get rain in winter, but we don't. We get snow and cold. Freezing. Anyways, um, this one is at... Um, 7.38%. So yeah, I've got a, I've got a little bit to go. But maybe next month I will get more done on that. Okay. Next up is my raccoon by Cottage Garden Samplings. I love this piece. Here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And I have added 523 stitches. I don't know if you guys got to see any of if, if the tail. Probably the tail is new. I think a, the tail and then I think mm, yeah, I think that's probably new, maybe? I don't know. Now, I will say that the tail, it gave me a little bit of troubles because in the pattern, it doesn't, it's all like one color right here. I don't, I can't really show you the pattern, but the mock-up, mm, I just did exactly what the mock-up because if you look really closely, you can see like they're just doing the same pattern as down here. So I just followed the mock-up because I thought it looked better. So just, you know, if you happen to have this, you've probably already figured that out. But I never, I never change patterns. So even though I was basically just following, a pat like it, it took me way longer than it should have. And you can... You can ask people. They'll tell you. Alicia and them will tell you. It took me way longer than it should have. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's what I got. This is supposed to be a finish this year. I'm using all the called for. All the called for for that one. And it's lots of fun. I like it. I have two more of those. I have the beaver and um the bear and the beaver is definitely going to be started for march shenanigans i can't remember which day maybe if this doesn't take forever i might actually tell you my my march plans okay oh yeah this was also this this was supposed to be a january finish so sorry if anybody was expecting to see this finished. This is my garnet by Carolyn Manning Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I have added 1,730 stitches since you last saw it. Here it is now. I mean, uh, I think I, 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 well, obviously I've added, mm, No, no, forget it. You're just getting it like this. Okay, I mean, I obviously have added quite a bit. It's only a 6,000 piece. This is the, the smalls. Um, it is at 66, 66.27%. So, Yep, I really should just finish it, right? Yeah, that would be a good plan. Okay, 
Um, what else is in it? Ooh, pretty. Um, this is really quite sad, actually. Okay. Um, this is my project that I am doing for my sister. Uh, this is of my sister. This is uh, what it'll look like when it's done. I uh, used the Threadbare app to uh, make this. In January and February, I've added 920 stitches. Most of that was January, though I don't think I've put in nearly enough for February. This, okay, so Carla and, um, I don't want to say the wrong name, but it's Bohemian, Bohemian something. Anyways, her friend. They, I'll, like I said, I'll link them. They're doing Hate in a Decade, but they're also doing Not a Hate in a Decade. I'm pretty sure. They talked about doing it. I don't know. Anyways, this is my Not a Hate in a Decade. I want to have this done by 2029 because that will be 10 years since her passing. So I feel like, you know, 10 years is long enough that I should have Oh goodness, here it is now. No. I am not enjoying this fabric. Okay. So I worked, um, I think I worked in the hair and I was working and filling in the forehead and stuff. Uh, it's still pretty pink, but I think from far away, I say this every time, it's gonna be like high up, uh, high up, so it'll, it won't be close to your face, I don't know if that makes sense, so, like, you know, anyways, this is at, I don't know what percent, because Threadbare doesn't give you a percent, my Instagram, I, maybe I hit 3%? Oh, 3%. Okay. Um, yeah. So this one definitely needs more work. Um, I think to get it done by 2029, I think I had to have like 900 stitches a month. So, yeah. Uh, that is one of my, oh yeah, well, it is one of my 5% by 2025. Um, me and Leanne and Rainy and Alicia were, we kind of, we have a lot of full coverages that were at like 2%. Well, I had a lot of full coverages that were at like 1%, 2%. So our goal was to get not all of our full coverages, because that's too many, but a large percentage of them to 5% this year. So you'll probably hear, if you watch any of our floss tubes, you will probably hear us talk about that quite often. Hashtag 5% by 25. Feel free to use it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have it on the screen or something so that you can see it. It's the number five and then written out percent. Um, but this actually needs to get way farther than 5%. Sorry, somebody's walking their dog. Um, next up is God Shed His Grace by Abraham Hunter, charted by Artisy. This is the medium version. This is what it'll look like when it's done. Uh, this is one of my 5%. And I put in a total of 483 since you've last seen it. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here it is now. Okay. Um, I probably finished a diagonal. And then I, I, I think I just... I think I just uh, got tired of doing a diagonal. Or I just wanted to get more stitches in because I don't think that that's a diagonal worth. It looks like I went out of my diagonal and just started flowing like where the color was going. I'm not 
you know, I'm not really sure because I don't... Oh, I know I finished a page. There's a page there. You can actually really see that page. I hope... Even though I, like, I feather my pages. Well, actually, no, I don't feather my pages. I work on a diagonal, and then when I get to, like, where you just have, like, that little tiny corner left of a page, then I'll just, like, finish it. So, I don't know. I don't know if any of that made sense. I am still in the moody clouds. Um, there are so many people working on this project. I can't name everybody, but anybody, like, when, when we started this on, um, January 1st, 2023, uh, the people who started with us, we were using the hashtag God's Grace. So, God's Grace Sundays. Yes, I always forget if it's an S on the end of Sundays. God's Grace Sundays is the hashtag that we use. Uh, this is 18 count fabric, and I am at... Okay, I am at 3.9, what? 3.94. I think I would have just made it to 4% and called it a day, but I didn't. Well, now I know what project needs to come out so that I can get that to 4% since 5% is my goal for this year. Okay. Um... What is next? Okay. And this is my Church for All Seasons by Nikki B and Charted by Charting Creations. This is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I have put in 751 stitches. Here it is now. Now, I I was I was working on diagonal up until you can probably see till about there. Then I wanted to finish the partial page, but then it got so much confetti. Like I think there's still like there's probably only maybe like 20, 25 stitches left to finish that partial page, but it's all like ninja stitches and so I got bored of that and then I, I um I think it's like 350 or 400 stitches a month because this is a, another one that's a 5% by 2025 20, um so I think I just wanted to get like um stitches in so then I just went to the blue because it's a little bit more block stitching and then I totally went out of the diagonal to work on this cloud because the colors just it, it just went in a circle so I was like well I don't want to park it I'll just keep going and then and there was none of that color anywhere else anyway so I don't know if that makes any sense but that's that's just how my mind but that's how I stitch I don't I don't necessarily have a oh I don't know I don't stitch the same way all the time. I just go with it. So this is on 25 count. And I am at... Um, 1.87. Oh, yes, 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 I do remember that. Because I uh, I showed this to Chad and I was like, hey Chad, look, this is 1.87, and he yeah he kind of laughed at me. He's like, oh, that's that's good, good good job. But uh, this we there's a bunch of us working on this one as well, and we use the hashtag Church for All Seasons Sal. Um, I don't know what I did with that. I'll fold that later. Okay. Um, okay. This is Mini Top Frog. Um, it is by Jody Bergsma, Heaven and Earth Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. 
I have added 554 stitches. This is what it this is what it looks like now. Um, this one I find a little bit hard to figure out where because I did a middle start and I don't normally do middle starts, so it it kind of threw me off a little bit. I think I started um, kind of working in like a 10 by 10, like I started with a 10 by 10 block and then just took that color wherever it went and then I would go back to that same 10 by 10 block and then so it I don't know if that makes sense but it kind of gave me a little more structure because I think all of that is probably like new something like that I don't know so this piece like when I look at this piece of fabric it's just so tiny compared to um compared to some of my other ones that's for sure um, that is, oh, this one's, this one's hard to tell you the percentage because I took off, like, it says that I'm at 10.22%, but that's because I took off, uh, did I take off 6,000? No, I think I took off 8,000 stitches. I think this is only, like, I think what I have stitched is only about 2.22%, because I took off, no, I took off 6,000 stitches and 8%. Yes, that's what it was. I took off um, like some of the background because I had this piece of fabric and if I didn't use it for this particular project, it would have been wasted. So instead I just took off like one column down each side. I, I think it'll be okay. There's a lot of background in that project. Okay. Uh, this, oh, okay, <laughs> this is Glow Up by Carolyn Manning Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. Um, this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I have only added 121 stitches. I'm sorry, Carla, you're going to be so disappointed. <laughs> Me and Carla are, from Stitch Me Sane are working on this, or here it is now, um, and we we wanted to have it done this year and i am not doing very good i think i think to have this one done i need 900 stitches a month and i've done 121 in two months so yeah i need to get on this i actually almost pulled this out the other day but i love it i think the last time I worked on it, I think I brought this border down and then maybe worked on some of this pink, maybe? I don't know. You guys will have to tell me where those 120 stitches are. Um, I should have a percentage on that. It's on Pattern Keeper. 15.54%. It does stitch up fast. I just, I just haven't worked on it enough. Okay. This is Java Joanna. This is by Sheena Pike, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I don't know if I've actually mentioned this. I have four Sheena Pike projects, and I think they will all be coming out today. Um, and myself and Stephanie from On Point Stitcher, we had started a Sheena Pike sale. I don't know couple years ago I think already so we always uh post our Sheena Pikes on Tuesdays we don't always work on them on Tuesdays I have not been well I mean I guess I have because I've been working on uh, my sloth which is the Sheena Pike and I've well I haven't been working on it daily but I, I've been working on it a lot anyway we post on Tuesdays quite often you can use the hashtag anytime. That's what I was getting at. Okay, this is Java Joanna. I put in 778 stitches in January. Uh, this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. I still, I say this every time, but I don't know why this one stitches up so fast. It's not like it, there's no confetti in it, but... I, um, whenever I pull it out, I, I, it's, 
I usually get like four or five hundred stitches in one sitting. Sorry, I just <laughs> lost what I was doing there. I was trying to show you where I think I worked. Oh, yes, I found the cookie. I don't know if, if you guys have been here before and I've, I've brought this out. I've mentioned before that I wanted to get up to that cookie because I mean, it's a chocolate chip cookie. Who doesn't want to stitch a chocolate chip cookie? Um, I think I also worked on this flower more, probably. And I don't know, maybe you haven't even seen this heart on the mug. But that's probably the area that... Um, that. But super cute. Oh, I hate to say that, but I think this one might be retired now, too. Sorry. Hopefully everybody got their Sheena Pikes that they wanted at the sale. Or not the sale. No. The sale was over before all those people were retired. Um, but hopefully everybody got what they wanted off of their wish lists before they were taken off. I know lots of people did. I saw lots of people on Instagram posting their uh, purchases of Sheena Pike. And that one is at 3.33%. I do believe that is a five, that I want to get that one to 5% um, this year. Okay. This is my Lord's Prayer by Anne. I wasn't sure for a second if it was Anne or Anna. It's Anne. Anne makes things. She's on Instagram. But if you go to her um, site, she has this pattern for free. This is what it'll look like when it's done. I'm stitching this with Rainy from Rainy Day Reads. Rainy quite often works on it on Sundays. I don't always work on it. I've only put in 69 stitches. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. This is what it looks like now. I think... I just did that, those stems. This is on 28 count, one over one. It's actually, I don't mind it. I think my stitches look really nice one over one. Well, not really nice, but compared to what they normally look like. Um, this is really tiny. Rainy has much more done, so you should go over to her channel. And check out hers. She's got a lot of the words done. I don't have a percentage on that because I am just using um, PDF for that. Okay. Um, now we're getting into some of my bigger projects. This is uh, Sea Villains by Jerry LaFaro. What it's called. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. I have added, oh, this is by Heather Nurse Designs as well. Um, I've added 916 stitches. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And please excuse me while I try to get this fabric. There's so much fabric. This is on 25 count as well. <clears throat> Sorry. No, you guys do not want to see the back of it. Well, I don't know. Maybe you do. There you go. <gasps> I, I don't have neat backs at all. I, I, I don't care what the back looks like. It just kind of has like a an interesting design though because it's pretty much all block stitching right now. So it's just like back and forth, back and forth. There you go. All right, here is where I am now. Why is it so awkward? My lighting is going really weird too, sorry about that. I'll get this, I will get this, people. Okay. There you go. Um. Those blues aren't really coming out as as pretty as they are. Ah, there we go. That's more true to color. Um, 
there's basically two colors in there and I totally ditched the diagonal because I just wanted to yeah that's definitely more than a 10 by 10 diagonal and then I also um, I started I don't know if you can tell but this is part of the um, swordfish I believe I don't I don't know if you can tell that I don't know if you're seeing that was more confetti there but other up here it was just two two colors two colors um I am stitching this with a Leanne from small town stitches and mama karma mama karma no no such thing as karma mama carmen too on instagram we are using the hashtag mama's sea villain sal because we did this for carmen's birthday and i this is another one that is a five percent okay let's let's just talk about this for a second so I have quite a few projects that I wanted to do for 5% by 25. 5% on this one, I think was like 9,000 stitches. Um, on one of my other ones, it's like 13,000 stitches. So what I'm doing is I want to get to at least 3%. So my monthly goals are set for getting to 3%. And then if I make the 3%, then I will go for the, tw the, tw the 5% because otherwise nothing is going to get done. So I want to make progress, but 5% was way too ambitious for me personally. So I'm not, I wasn't like a total liar. Like I am going to try and get them to 25, but first I'm just going to try and get them to three. And then I don't know, hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm still using the hashtag because, I mean, the ultimate goal is still 25%. No, 5%. Wow. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. 1.37% is uh, what we're at here. Okay. Sorry, I, I better not start giggling because I won't stop and okay um <laughs> this is a blanket for by Amy Stewart charted by heaven and earth designs this is my largest project um yep I've added 1,311. This is what it'll look like the last... No, this is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. Um, <laughs> okay, so again, I was originally doing... How did I do this? I feel like there's a story here. Um, I originally started doing diagonal and then I decided I was just going to do diagonal in like the page. And then I just started doing whatever I wanted. I, I This is totally out of page. This, I think this is the bottom. Whoa, sorry. This is the bottom of the page, but this is the next page. Like I, I just went with where the color went. I think I was just, I didn't feel like parking, so I just, if there was more of that color, I just finished it off. Um, what do I have to say about this? This is 25 count. This is literally a blanket. Um, what percentage? This, yeah, so this one, um, this was, is one of my 20, my 5% by 25. I don't know why I keep saying 25%. That's, that's not happening. Um, yeah, this is at 1.19%. Uh, this one needed 13,000, 13,000 stitches to get to, um, 5%. So this is one of the ones where I'm working at 3%. And so far I'm on track to get 3%. 
because I think it's 400 and something stitches it needs per month. So I do love this piece, but <laughs> I this is one of those ones that I had said was it wasn't necessarily one that needed to ever be finished. And I, I know that that sounds like crazy for some people. They can't imagine not finishing a piece, but sometimes it's just fun to like, it's not that I don't ever want it finished, but it's not like high priority. It's just fun to stitch. So yeah, but it has to have like steady progress. Otherwise it, it's not going to get anywhere. And I really want to get to like the main blanket fort. So there's that. Okay. Um, sorry, I say that a lot. Okay. This is Lavender Wreath by Light Unicorn Designs. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm stitching this one for my mother-in-law, who is doing much better, if anybody is wondering about that. Again, I'm not going to really update about medical stuff because they're very private people, but they do appreciate your prayers. Um, what was I going to say now? This is on Winter Dreams. This is fa fabric by Kaylee, um, 16 count Winter Dream. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. That's, that's what I was saying. This has had 588 stitches. Here it is now. Um, oh, I added some way over there. I, I have not worked on this at all in February. I actually wrote it on my to-do list today if I do any stitching. Who knows? If I do any stitching, I do plan on doing a little bit on this because I haven't worked on it all this month and I don't know why. I don't know, maybe because um, she's doing better and this was like my project for when she like had tests or bad days or anything. I was like, we're praying over her and since she's doing better, maybe that's why I'm not working on it, which is just silly because the whole point is is for her you, you want her to be better so that and to give her it to her to like show her journey of what she went through so it, it has to get done even if she's in remission but anyway that's my brain it doesn't work sometimes okay um I, I guess i could tell you that's on pattern keeper i can tell you what the percentage of lavender is lavender wreath is at okay. 588 stitches is what I put in in January I don't know if I said that already it's at 8% oh I know what I was gonna say about that okay so it's at more than 8% because I found out that Pattern Keeper was charting all the, um, well, um, maybe I, I think I took a picture of it and so maybe I can show, but they were charting all that white background. Well, clearly I am not going to stitch all that white background. I have this pretty fabric. So that took off like half the stitches. I think there was, um, let me just, let me just see what it said. 21,000 stitches of uh, white. I'm not doing that. I'll do the ones that are, you know, in the actual wreath, but I'm not doing all that background. So this project actually got a lot less that I needed to do per month. And maybe that's why I just, I realized that it was half as big as what I thought. And um, instead of, and then I just, stopped working on it completely. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know how that all worked, but it's it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's only like Yeah. So that was exciting. And that happened to another project too, which I will when we get there, I will tell you. Okay. So it says it's 8%, but it's it's more than that. I haven't I haven't taken out all the white yet. So that was exciting. 
very exciting the day that I found that out. Okay, so this is my mirabil. My what? My mirabilia. Ooh, sorry, I didn't realize this was in a separate bag. Why is this in a separate bag? I have it like in a bag, in a bag, like double bagged. I don't know. This is my mirabilia. Um, it's called T. I call it friendship. Um, me and Alicia from Adventures of Stitching are doing this one together. Um, I am stitching this on 16 count heroic. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I've added 175 stitches. I really need to work on this one more. Uh, this is what it looks like now. Uh, sorry, uh, I think that is probably the new stuff that I worked on. Uh, I think the fabric is actually showing pretty pretty true. Well, well, not there. When I first showed it to you, I think it was... Uh, there you go. That's pretty... Kind of has, like, pinks and blues and... I like it. I don't have a percentage because it's not in Pattern Keeper. Um, not very far. We'll go with that. And next up. Oh. I'm missing a project. Oh, no I'm not. I didn't work on it. That's why. Never mind. So the other one that I was saying about the... The, that was like the lavender was my other one that was a light unicorn design. My hummingbird. I didn't work on it apparently in, in January and February. That's why it's not here. But it was the same thing where it counted all the, the white in the background. So that one's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be too. So that's good. <laughs> I'm all for taking off stitches. Okay, so this... Oh, sorry, guys. Um, this is the Sorting Hat Ravenclaw by New Dream Stitch on Etsy. This is the one I am doing for my nurse. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, I cannot speak. For my niece, this is her project that I am um, when she's having treatments, when... Well, really any time that I'm working on it, I'm thinking of her and praying for her. But if she has certain days where she actually has treatments and things, I'm trying to make sure I work on it. Let's just... Uh, this one is not in Pattern Keeper or anything either, so I don't know the percentage. But I have put in 1,935 stitches and I don't think I had started this. I started it on, I think I started it actually the day after I did my last video. Um, I started it as soon as I found out. So this is what I have finished. That border. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that that border, it, it was, it was something else, but I didn't have to frog anything. I just counted over and over and over again. But I was very excited to be able to start doing the sorting hat. Um, this is just on 16 count white Ada. It's so wrinkly. I really hope those wrinkles come out. Um, it's bigger than I was expecting, so <laughs> I just, I don't really think about measurements at first and then I just buy the pattern and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it's okay. We'll, we'll get it framed when it's done. So I think the rest of the project should be a lot faster. That even And it's only, um, there's not very many colors in it. Like it, there, it's not like confetti in the, 
like the words i mean it's a lot of words this will probably take the longest and even so it i did like two or three hundred stitches in a night so um that will be pretty fast and a little scarf and i don't see it taking too too long i think i have i think i'm supposed to get like 15 no 1200 stitches a month which i did that in january I have not done that in February, so this is also something I was going to work on today because I have lots of time. Um, right, <laughs> another another new start. This is a Phoenix by Carolyn Manning Designs. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. <laughs> I have this on a huge piece of fabric that I need to uh, I need to cut. I have another piece or another new start tomorrow actually so um I put in 273 stitches it's just on a white 16 count Ada nothing special but those colors wait a minute yeah that's right I'm loving the colors they're like very fallish colors but that's okay Fall is my favorite season, so I am totally fine with that. Um, I don't even think I really want to tell you the percentage of that one, because it's not, it's not much. Um, zero point seven six percent that's just one day of stitching I, I i worked on it the very first day and i haven't pulled it back out so I, I, anyways and i started that january 25th 2024 and my last new start oh wait a minute i didn't show you a project and I'm pretty sure I worked on it. I did. Okay, before we get to the last new start, this is my Red Panda by Sheena Pike. I thought I had worked on this because I was pretty sure I think Lucas picked this one night. He likes this one. Um, Heaven and Earth Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. I only put it 106 stitches. And I am pretty sure that they're in there. I'm trying to get to the face. Actually, I think, I think that is the face. I think that might be the nose. I don't know, but I think, I think that is the face. So yeah, um, which goes along with uh, when they were talking about, oh actually, just, just one second, I'll tell you my percentage on that, and then I'll tell you, 3.94%, 3 really? Sorry, it's switched. 2.74%. I think I liked the 3.94 better. But anyways, uh, this is definitely my a 5% one for the year. And um, yeah, so when they were, Heaven and Earth Designs was talking about um, retiring all those artists or whatever, the, the one that really only that I have anything by, I think... Sheena Pike. I think that was the only one that really interested me. But I was like, no, I don't need more charts. I don't need more charts. And then I saw the macaw that looks like it kind of is like a companion piece to the red panda. I was like, nope, I don't need it. I don't need it. And then I was talking to my husband. And I was like, should I get it? Shouldn't I get it? And I, I couldn't decide. So anyways, 
then he said, just get it. He's like, it'll be an early birthday present for you. So I now have, I'll put a picture up. This is the macaw that I'm, it's one of my favorite, I'm like, exotic birds. I love them. Anyways, so I have that chart, but Chad said I'm not allowed to start it until after my birthday, but I also told him I don't have fabric. I wasn't even planning on starting it. Well, first I said, I'm not even planning on starting it this year, and then he laughed at me, and then I said, actually, I won't start it until I'm finished Red Panda, and then he really laughed at me, so... I don't know. I guess I'll start it when I feel like starting it. Oh, and it was the mini too, so that was nice because it's a new chart and they came out with the mini right away, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe the mini is the new and I just never saw it before. I don't know. So anyways, I have a new Sheena chart. Sheena, oh my goodness, I can't talk. Sheena Pike chart. And, okay. My last new start. Wow, this this video is all over the place. Um, February 14th was Alicia Adventures of Stitching's birthday, and she started a superhero sale 2024. So it was the perfect time for me to bring out this one. This is my Groot from Tilt and Crafts. This is what it looks like when it's done. I was just working on this last night, so I don't, I still have it in the hoop, but this is how far I got. Now, I put in 735 stitches. Why does this look so weird? This is on 25 count, so it's not that big. Uh, this is my first Tilton Crafts chart. I was gifted this by Joss, budget stitcher on Floss Tube. Um, this needle minder is from, oh my goodness, it's, ugh, why do I not know this? I swear I get almost all my needle minders from Needle Nanny, Needle Nanny, excuse me, Calgary. Um, so this is Groot and that's background. And I know a lot of people are probably looking at that chart thinking, well, why didn't you ditch the background? And I get it, I get it, but at the same time, I just, I don't know, the background, it looked, I don't know, it added to the chart for me. I don't know. I'm fine. It's fine. So I'm going back and forth. Like last night, I think I did um, like some of this background. I do like one length on the background and then one on Groot to break it up a little. So that is my newest start. I was very excited. I've had this chart for, I don't know, a while and I've wanted to start it for a really long time, but I needed a I needed a good reason to start it. And Superhero Sal sounded like the perfect excuse to start it. Not that I need an excuse, but 0.78%. So yeah, that is Groot. Um, what else do I have to tell you? So that is everything that I've worked on in the last two months I feel like that's a lot I don't I don't know maybe it's not um so that's I think the last time I checked for February I'm at about 5700 stitches so you know that's over 15,000 stitches of progress that you guys got to see <laughs> um, hopefully there was something there that you um what else can I tell you oh what else oh yes so other than that i guess i can talk a little bit about shopping um i oh, okay so i got the sheena pike that i said and then <laughs> um my oldest he doesn't really um care well like i'm mean, not that he doesn't care but he's not really invested in stitching all that much or anything but uh we were looking oh well, i blame rainy she um was showing us some charts from is it country magic stitch and 
my son happened to see the Harry Potter charts and I asked him, I'm like, oh, do you like those? And he did. And so I was like, well, I guess I should just like, they were really cheap. It was like $9, I think, for all three of the Harry Potter charts. So I will put them up here because I cannot remember what they're called. Um, I'm going to start one tomorrow, the Hogsmeade. And then there's also the um, the Ex Hogwarts Express and the Hogwarts. Welcome to Hogwarts. I don't know. I'll, I'll put them up here. There's three of them. They came in a set. So I will be starting that one tomorrow for March 1st. Let me just get out my book because I think I did have a them kind of figured out of where I was going to start. So yeah, these are March plans. <laughs> if anybody wants to know March plans, I got those charts. So I'll start one of those tomorrow. I just need to cut my fabric. Um, I was going to start something on Tuesday, but my son has basketball tournament on Friday and Saturday. And I think, and we're going to be staying with my parents so that we don't have to drive back and forth. So I probably won't get a start on Saturday. That's okay. It was just going to be another one of those um, Sheena Pike ornaments. Then um, on March 9th, which is actually Chad's birthday, but he has a thing with the, like a men's breakfast or something at the church. So I was like, well, that seems like a good time to... Uh, do a new start. So I think I'm going to start my beaver from Cottage Garden Samplings. I don't have it here with me. I'll, I'll just put in a picture. And that'll be a start then. Um, on either Saturday the 16th or Sunday the 17th, that weekend, um, it's Leanne's birthday and she had gifted me this chart, Hidden Harbor, for Christmas. So I thought that would be a good time to start that one. Um, it's, it's not as big actually. It's, it's a regular, <laughs> it's a regular heaven and a heaven and earth design charts, regular chart, but it's color expansion. So that's going to be fun. There's lots of people who are working on that or who, who have that chart or who are working on it, but I'm going to be starting in the right corner and I've never seen anybody starting in the right corner so it'll look a lot different than everybody who starts in the left so I'm really looking forward to starting that on March 21st I don't know why I chose that day just a random random day I've decided I'm starting the QS Amazing Animal Kingdom I'll just put it in here um, as long as my fabric comes, I guess I should say I'm still waiting for fabric from 123 Stitch. So as long as those get here. Then on March 26th, I am going to be starting Christmas Eve by... Oh my goodness, what is her name? Just put it in here. Nicole, Janelle, Nicole? Nicole, Janelle? Hmm. I can't believe I don't know that because I've had this chart for a really long time. It's full size, max color. I don't know, I don't know what I, I, well actually no, I do know. I looked at the mini and there is so much detail in the background of this project that I just felt the mini, um, it took too much away from me. So, I don't know. So I'll be starting that on the 26th again, if my fabric comes. Then on March 31st or 30th, it's, it's Easter weekend, so I usually go to my parents on the 30th, like on the Sunday, but I am starting He is Risen by Donna Gelsinger, um, Heaven and Earth Designs, the mini, and I'm starting this with Joss, the budget stitcher, and Carmen from Mama Carmen, too. <laughs> Um, we are starting that one for Easter. I am so excited about that one as well. I've been, I've had that one for a while and wanted to start it and it'll be really fun to start with them. And I think that's all I have planned for March. And I think, I think that is enough, <laughs> enough, enough new starts. Um, yeah. And what else do I have to say? 
Um, I, oh, I bought one more project. Um, I was gifted a, an Etsy gift card and I picked up beautiful place. I'll put a picture here. It is by, so why, why can't I think today? So beautiful, stitches so beautiful. Oh, uh, I think that's what it is. I'll have it up here. Um, Uh, there's a few of us who have bought this chart. It is gorgeous. Um, the plan, I think, is to start that one in June on, like, the longest day of the year. Because it's a really long piece. I don't know. Uh, but that... <sighs> the problem is, I have fabric for that chart right now. <laughs> and I don't know if I can wait till June, but we'll see because I'm doing it with other people so either I convince them to start early or they help me have self-control and start in June. We'll see how it goes. Other than that I don't think I have much else to say. Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. This is an hour and 31 minutes. I apologize but that's what happens when I uh, when I wait two months to to update you. Oh, I was gonna uh, just hang on one second. Okay, sorry. Now I look like Rudolph. I apologize, but uh, I don't have a cold, and I don't have allergies. But I, I don't know. I don't. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna show you a couple other of my crafts. If you want to leave, that's fine. It's it's not going to take me very long, but you're 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 welcome to leave at any time. So, um, if you are leaving, thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you when I see you. I don't know when that is, but I just thought I would show because I think I've mentioned it before that I crochet, and this is the blanket that I am doing for my son. He knows about it, so it's not a, it's not a surprise, but I am doing another waffle blanket because I think that's pretty much the only thing that I make. I don't... Uh, can you see that? <laughs> like, I have no idea what you guys just saw. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my waffle blanket. It is the Bernat... What is it? Teal something. Um, teal, I don't have the thing for it. Where is it? Nope, that's... Apparently I just like keep all the things from... Ah, teal dreams. Teal dreams. Um, the Bernat blanket roll. Teal dreams. Um, I love waffle blankets, they, the texture on them, I just, I love them, but I will warn anybody who makes a waffle blanket, they eat up a lot of yarn, but to me it's worth it. I think this is probably going to take like five or six or seven, I don't know. This is on, this is two, this is two. Nah, you're never gonna understand what I'm saying, but that's two balls of these big ones. So, yeah, I need at least three or four more of those. It's fine. So that is my crochet. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, right, I was going to go through, because I said that I am a reader. And they're sitting right there, so I will just give you a little, uh, show you what I'm reading. I am reading this with Rainy and Alicia and Leanne. It's like historical fiction. It's one of my favorite authors. I, I've read all of her books, and they've all gotten five stars from me. Uh, I am reading Charles Dickens' Great Expectations. <laughs> well, I was supposed to be reading it with Alicia, but she finished it already. She's waiting for me to finish it. 
so that we can actually talk about it. And then after this one, our next classic is War and Peace. We're not going to talk about that. This is a contemporary Christian fiction. Christian fiction? I don't... I don't really know if there's that much Christian in it. I mean, it's clean romance. You can't even see the name. I am also reading this one with Alicia. This is second one in a series. It's all told in like emails and text messages, so it's a really quick read. And uh, this is my Christian nonfiction that I am reading by Alicia Childers. It's really good so far. I'm not not that far into it. But I always like to have a nonfiction going as well. That was a very quick. Those are the main ones that I'm reading, but I, I am just like with Cross Stitch, where I have multiple whips going at a time, I have multiple books going at a time too. That's, that's just the way I am. I get, I need variety, I guess. All right, this was really long. I apologize again. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate coming back. Or if you're new here, I really appreciate you stopping by. Um, I will have everybody that I've talked about linked down below, I believe. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you. If I don't, I've missed your, I've missed your comment somehow. Um, I noticed, was it on my last video? Um, on my last video, I missed people's comments. I didn't get notifications for them, and so it was like days later when I answered, and so I felt bad about that. But as long as I see the comment, I will answer. So, yeah, I don't, I, um, I might be back in March. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'll come back. I'll come back eventually, and we will chat then. Okay, take care. Bye.